So for lunch, abodingas, meatballs and potatoes. By the way, I got some new beads while I was at the cathedral. The blue ones here. Good stuff. Now finish up the coffee. All right, let's get back to exploring. Well, they don't allow photos or filming in this part of the church, so this was more for me than you guys this time. Maybe we should go check out some old catapults and siege machines, huh? I've done a lot of different kinds of museums in my time, but I have never done one quite like this. Here's a little model of a mobile battering ram. That's pretty cool. Now that's called a screw crossbow, which I would not have guessed because it looks more like a catapult to me. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Now this one is a mobile crossbow. For that crossbowman on the go. Now wait do you get a load of this Roman battering ram. See how it's kind of all patched up? But look at what's at the very, very front. I saw this as soon as I came up the stairs. That is so rad. That was literally a battering ram. A ram for sure. That's, look at that pottery. This says this is a torsion catapult. You can see the ball back in here. And then a flexible bow catapult. And this says that's a Greek infantry warrior with a catapult. That's what the art is. And this one just says crossbow. That says that is the seal of the Templars. Trebuchet, which I don't know what that is. But they do have a diagram of what it does, so I'll let you guys look at it. You know what's interesting is, I mean, look at the technology behind the catapult. It's really the same idea behind a pitcher in baseball. It's the same principle. And this is like the grand finale stop on our tour. This is their their big dog. It's the big battering ram. I mean big. But it's the mobile one. So you can see they basically have like a teepee over it or something, you know. So it couldn't be destroyed while it was being moved, I'm sure. And then that's a Roman shield. But you can see how small of an opening they would have had for archery. I really enjoyed that. That's pretty cool. Check out the Toledo wind chimes. There's some down here, and then some right up here. A bunch of old pots and pans. Hope you guys don't mind. I just decided to kick back and take a break for a little bit. Watch the clouds blow by. That's what I've been watching. So in crazy news, guess who just booked the Oscar Wilde room in Paris? Yep, looks like I'll be going to Paris again. And if you saw my Jim Morrison and Oscar Wilde vlog last time I was in Paris, you know that that was the second to last place that Jim Morrison lived before he died, so a lot of history in that room. Love all that old Roman brick architecture. And the view's not as disgusting as you might think. I'm kidding, this is heaven. I'm listening to the Doors Spanish Caravan right now. Perfect. All 
our day here in Toledo is just about to come to an end. Got a, one or two more things I want to show you and then we got to meet up with the bus. Take a look at this. Found a pretty neat lookout point. Wow, take a look at this monastery. Now we're gonna head back through the city gate and go check out something called the Roman Circus Gardens. Now you can see all the walls that we were inside of. This has been about five hours worth of walking today, guys. <laughs> Does it feel like it? Check that out, guys. Here they are. Nothing special, just a bunch of Roman ruins that they've turned into a park. How awesome. Since we can roam through them, let's. This is so rad. I'm glad they did something like this. Look, they caged in all those rocks. Is that some form of irrigation or something there? Well, that's it for Toledo. Let's go find our bus. Well, I had an interesting wrap up to the day. On my way back to the hotel, um, I was walking down one of the major roads and I had my camera in my right arm, uh, or my right hand, and all of a sudden I saw a guy running full speed frantically towards me. And, um, and he was actually running towards my camera arm, so I was kind of worried he was gonna try and steal my camera. And um, I've seen this before, I knew, I, I just, the instinct told me it was, it, they, they had purse snatched somebody or something because I think it's three or four countries I've been in where I've seen this happen and, um, and the police have come, you know, whatever. So as I see this guy running, I look off to the side and I see a cop running across the street. So when the guy ran by me, I just close, I just did the ultimate warrior clothesline and, uh, the guy went down the cop got him and the lady got her purse back and. You know, I'll tell you, it was, um, I was actually, it was one of those things I had about three seconds to think, and I was thinking, uh, for one thing I know, I've noticed in Spain, nobody is in a hurry. Nobody ever is running unless they're like in a park running. So I knew something was fishy there. But like I said, I've seen enough of these where after the fact, I realized what had happened because you see people reacting to it and everything that just something told me and I, I real quickly glanced over and saw the cop running across the street and so luckily nothing uh, you know like I, nothing like she wasn't hurt or anything the lady with the purse or anything but I just thought that was such a weird way to end the day well have a great night everyone see you all tomorrow from Spain goodbye